Six ways narcissists use baiting to provoke you. Narcissists seek to manipulate you. They seek to control you. They seek to maintain influence and authority over you. Because they want to get their needs met. They want you to do what they want. They want you to do what they expect you to do. They want you to be what they need you to be. The narcissist is like a fisherman. They sit alongside a river where they know the fish are going to be. And then they try out different types of bait to see which one is more effective. Their objective is to get you to bite the bait so that they can reel you in. Then they can manipulate and control you for their own selfish interests and needs. They will try out different types of bait to see which one works best with you. Until they find a few personal favourites that they like to use often. Here are six types of bait the narcissist will use to provoke you. One. Fear. They will try to make you fear an undesirable outcome or result. They will try to make you fear danger or harm. Your happiness is an offence to the narcissist. So they will try to provoke fear within you to keep you under their control. To make you avoid doing something that they don't want you to do. It makes you dread the likelihood of something bad or unpleasant happening to you. They want to keep you in a constant state of fear. Where you are afraid that they might abandon you. Where you are afraid of your safety. Where you are afraid that you won't find anyone better than them. Or anyone else who would want you. They will create an environment where you fear something. Because that's how they keep you under their control. That's how they trap you. Two, emotional drive-by. The narcissist will randomly give you snippets of information. It will be vague. It won't be specific or detailed, but it's enough to grab your attention. It's enough to arouse your curiosity and interest. And it may provoke fear or anxiety within you it may make you overthink. It may make you more cautious about your words or actions. They will often lie and give you false information. Or they will give you empty threats. Either way, it's designed to get your attention. It's designed to keep you focused on them. Free, playing the victim. The narcissist will portray themselves as the victim. They will do this to manipulate you. They want you to show sympathy and concern for them. And by doing this, they can also avoid responsibility for their actions. 
playing the victim is a form of bait they will use to reel you into taking care of them, to reel you into rescuing them from an undesirable situation. But once you take the bait, this is when they switch it up on you. They will often portray their previous situation as better and more desirable. As better than the one they are in now with you. They don't want you to think that you have rescued them from anything. Because that then gives you the power. That then means that they owe you something in return. Playing the victim is a common bait and switch tactic that narcissists will use. They will make you feel like you are saving them from something. But once you take the bait they will turn the tables on you. And they will make you feel like you are the one who needs help. They will make you feel like they are the ones who saved you. And they will expect something in return for the hard work. Four, guilt tripping. The narcissist will try to manipulate your behavior by causing feelings of guilt. They will try to make you feel guilty so that they can induce you to do something. They will try to guilt you into doing something even after you say no. They want to collapse your boundaries. They want to make you do something that you are unwilling to do. And they do this by making you feel guilty. By making you feel like you are responsible. As though you have a duty to do something for them. Five, false accusations. The narcissist may not even believe the false accusations they make about you. They're just using it to get a reaction out of you. They're just using it to keep you under their control. It makes you want to defend yourself. It makes you want to prove yourself to them. But the truth is, they don't really care about what they're accusing you of. They're just using it to reel you back in. They're using it to get your attention. They're using it to keep you thinking about them. But rather than trying to convince them that they're wrong, you just have to accept that a narcissist is going to believe whatever they want to believe. Six. Future faking. The narcissist will lie and promise something about your possible future in order to get what they want in the present. They will talk about the future with no intention of making it happen. It's a distraction they use when they feel like you're starting to figure them out. They will dangle a carrot in front of you. They will persuade you to do something by offering a reward. This type of bait is used to induce their desired behavior. It's used to make you do what they want you to do. In the hopes that you will eventually receive something in return. And it's usually based on whatever they think is important to you. Or whatever they think you want. But it's really nothing more than a fantasy. In most situations, 
They don't even have the means to fulfill their false promises. It's just used as bait to make you stay. They use it to keep you under their control. You need to recognize the bait for what it is. They're just trying to reel you in. They're just trying to manipulate and control you. When you realize this, you may even be able to predict what their next tactic is going to be. You need to recognize that there is no deeper meaning to this. They're just trying to provoke you to react to them so they can try to feel better about themselves. When you react to them, it makes them feel powerful and in control. But when you develop the awareness of what they're trying to do, you will no longer react to them in the same way. Instead of focusing on what they're trying to do, focus on attending to your own feelings and needs. The narcissist will always try to get a reaction from you. Even if you're not paying attention. But once you take your focus away from them, you will be able to regain control. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at coaching.narcsurvivor.co.uk Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.